book is being banned on the same day as Holocaust Remembrance Day. Six million Jews and millions of others were killed by the Nazis in the Holocaust. I spoke with a local descendant of a survivor who's working to make sure we have tangible reminders to never forget. She lost every, everything that was precious to her. And so, I mean, how can that not affect how you are in life? Um, yeah. The Holocaust hits home every day for Sandy Springs resident Allie Allen. Many of her ancestors were sent to concentration camps and killed, but her grandmother survived, chronicling her journey in letters. You know, it's very heartbreaking and it just is a real life story that people can really learn from. Allen's family donated those documents to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum so visitors can put a name and backstory to the tragedy and never forget the six million lives lost. When you think about the number of people who were lost and they would have married and had children. It's just impossible to estimate the damage done. Holocaust denial and distortion is one of the primary sources of anti-Semitism today. Robert Tannen, a director with the Holocaust Museum, tells me it's important to remember the Holocaust because the rise in anti-Semitism in our country and around the world is just the tip of the iceberg. That words matter. Um, and that's kind of where it all starts. The Holocaust did not start with gas chambers. Frankly, that was the end. Uh, it didn't start with shootings. It started with words. And today, President Biden cautioned against ignoring history and warned of a resurgence of anti-Semitism, saying hate doesn't go away, it only hides. So you